Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a little bit of a building project to do today. Uh, we're gonna be building us a new chicken tractor to, to move our chickens and turkeys out of the barn and, and move those out here to grow out on pasture. So I did build a, chick, a chicken tractor last year. It ended up being a fairly small uh, chicken tractor and we're gonna use that for the ducks. So we're gonna put the ducks in the small chicken tractor and we're gonna build a bigger one today for the, uh, for the chickens and the turkeys. So right now, lumber prices are extremely high, so any building project gets expensive very fast. I went and bought four boards for this the other day. I needed some 12-foot boards for this, and um, they ended up costing me $15 a piece. Two by fours by 12 treated, $15 a piece. So they're three to four times the cost of normal. So for the rest of the build, I've decided to steal the two by sixes on off the front of the compost bin. They've actually been off to the side for a while as I've been using the compost out of here. So I think it's a good opportunity. I don't necessarily need the front on the compost bin. So we're going to steal those boards to build uh, part of our chicken tractor today. So let's go ahead and head back to the pole barn, start building. So we got the two sides 
built for our new chicken tractor. And the way we put this together is we ended up cutting out like a half lap notch uh, on these longer rails. And then we cut that notch where it was just slightly smaller. And then we cut it down to just fit these boards so that they actually had to almost press fit in there. We had to pound them in with a hammer. So they fit in there really tight. And this thing is real rigid. There's no, there's no wiggling to it at all. It's just a real rigid side. Um, because you're going to be pulling this thing through the pasture, so you really want this to be as rigid as possible. So the, um, the style chicken tractor that I want to build this time, instead of having a flat top, I want to actually build the one that, that, uh, that comes up and has like a little roof over it, like a little tarped roof. And then that's going to allow us to, uh, to walk inside of it and, and feed the chickens, change their water, and then also when it's time to put them in the freezer, it'll be easier to come in here and catch the chickens. So this tractor is just going to have a lot better access for us to get to the chickens in their feed. So the next thing to do is, is we need to figure out exactly how wide it's going to be. And that's going to be determined by the roof. And we're going to be using three quarter inch EMT conduits and they come in a 10 foot stick is what you're going to find at the home improvement store. So we're going to, we're going to bend some of that and we're going to just make the shape of our roof and we're just going to figure out exactly how wide this is going to be. And uh, so let's go ahead and grab the conduit and uh, start playing around, see about making these like little roof joists. So this EMT is 10 foot long. So the first thing I've been doing is I just mark the middle five feet and then I come four and three quarter inches from that. And then this mark here, that's off center, that's gonna be where I line that up to my bender so that I can bend perfectly in the middle of the conduit. And then on each end, what I've been doing is I just mark three inches from the end of the conduit for us to do our bends on the very end. So my off center mark, I'm gonna put that in the bender and then I'm just gonna align that up with the arrow at the front of the bender. And then we're gonna bend a, a 90 right here for the peak of our roof. Except I'm going slow. I don't know, that looks like a 90. There we go, it's close. So on the ends, we're gonna put that three inch mark on the arrow. And then on these ends, we're just bending a 45. Always have a, I wish I could see that a little better. Then we'll just do the same thing on the other end. Just bend to 45. And you can see that ends up being roughly the shape of the roof. So it's gonna be about this tall. So you're gonna have to still duck and get in there, but at least we have access. So we ended up making a total of six of these. And you can tell that they're not bent completely the same. There's a, quite a bit of variance between them. So we're just gonna get a rough measurement on what we think the inside should be. And then we'll, we'll bend them to fit. It looks like 78 inches would be a fairly good measurement to use for the width of the chicken tractor.
So it's day two of the chicken tractor build. And before I finish this door, I, I think I'm gonna move on back over to these roof rafters, um, take the, the conduit uh, roof trusses that we made. I wanna get those all put on here. And then I've got a straight piece of, of conduit that's gonna go straight down the middle and be like a ridge pole down the middle. And I gotta get that fastened securely to these rafters because that's what we're gonna hang our feeders from and our waterer from. So it's gonna have a, quite a bit of weight hanging down on it. So we wanna make sure that's good and secure. And then after that, I'm gonna come back and build the door. I wanna to wait to build the door in case I don't want the door to interfere with this ridge pole. So I uh, wanna go ahead and do that first. So let's go ahead and get started. So I got all the rafters on there and you can tell that they're not all perfectly the same height. So I'm gonna put my ridge pole through here and then I can loosen up the clamps that I just put on the side and I can adjust the height of each one of these so that it's correct. Now, if, now that I've done this, if I would have gone back and put the ridge pole on first between the front and the back, I could have just laid those roof trusses right on top of there and it would have been a lot easier. But now I'm gonna have to go back and tweak the height of each one of these. I'm just gonna put a couple zip ties on here to hold this stuff in place so I can get it positioned. So I plan on hanging the, the chicken water and feeder off of this ridge pole. So to make sure this is secure, I'm gonna take some self-tapping screws and I'm just gonna screw the two conduits together. And then I'll probably put two zip ties on here as well at each joist and that'll hopefully that'll be secure enough. So even though they're self-tapping, it appears that I'm going to be better off just pre-drilling them. So the ridge pole is now attached and secured. And you can see if I put a board across here for my door, that it would hit this ridge pole. So I'll probably have to drill a hole out and then put this board on there and then I can go ahead and frame out my door. Actually, oh, look at that. I could just put it like that and it'll just sit on there. It's probably the best thing to do. Let's do that. So the chicken tractor is all assembled now. I may go back and add a couple braces in some corners or something if it ends up, feels like it's not sturdy enough. But uh, right now, I think everything, everything feels fairly sturdy. So I think it's ready for the chicken wire to go around and then the tarp is gonna go over it for the roof. So let's go ahead, we'll get that done, finished up, and then we can finally move it out to the pasture.
pushing a rope. Well, I think we're ready to go ahead and move the chicken tractor out to the pasture. I'm only missing one thing that I know of, and that is wheels for the back. So the back of it's the, uh, the boards on the bottom stick out just like this does. Um, and it's meant to have a set of wheels back there so that when you lift it up, it's easier to roll. Um, so I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store and pick some of them up sometime. But right now, I think everything's gonna work out fine. I did put um, some, a piece of black poly pipe over this rope to make a nice handle so that you can move it. And um, I guess if you wanna hitch it up to the truck or something like that, you just slide that, slide that to the side and put that over the ball hitch of the truck and move it that way. But to get this out to the pasture, this may be a small feat to get this out there. So I've got to get this loaded onto a trailer and then hold out there and then see if we can uh, drop it off out there. So let's we'll see how this goes. But uh, I'm going to try to back a trailer right up to the garage door here and, and try to load it up. too big. Well, that ain't gonna work. I guess we'll just hook it up to the truck and we'll drag it out there. Well, the chicken tractor survived the drive all the way out here. Um, it was too wide to fit on the trailer. So now that it's out here in the pasture, this is probably where it's gonna stay. So the, the chicken tractor ended up being, uh, the top part ended up being like 10 foot long. And these bottom rails are 12 foot long. They stick out on each end a foot. And it ended up, after we bent our EMT for a roof, it ended up being about six and a half feet wide. And, um, so we got about, what we got? We got about 60 square, 65 square feet on the inside of here. So that ought to fit at least, you know, 25, 30 birds without a problem. So uh, yeah, pretty happy that this is done. Pretty happy that we'll be able to, uh, you know, get inside and access the chickens fairly easily. And uh, it's a nice airy spot or shaded spot. It's got air that flows through it for the chickens. So I think this is going to work out pretty good. So, uh, so I think the next thing we're going to do, so the next video is probably going to be us moving the chickens and turkeys out here and the ducks in the smaller chicken tractor. We're going to get them moved out here on pasture. But uh, we got to get some electric netting, get that put around in here. We got to set up some waterers and a uh, chicken feeder inside of here as well. So that'll be coming up in the next video. We're finally gonna get to all the birds out on pasture. So anyway, I think I'm pretty happy with the way this has turned out overall. So uh, did try to use as much repurposed material as possible. This was some old used chicken wire. Uh, most of these two by threes we cut out of those old two by sixes. Uh, so I did have to buy some of the two by fours and I had to buy this EMT and the tarp. And just that material right there, I think uh, oh man, I think I had a, even $150 by the time you just buy the, the conduit, the bottom um, two by fours and the, the tarp. I had about $150 in this chicken tractor and I'd hate to see how much it was if I would have had to buy the rest of these boards. 
So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with the way it all turned out. So uh, I think that's it for today's video, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you the next one.